Hey everybody, it's Dave with virtualizedstuff.com. Um, last week I ran into an issue in NSXT 2.3 regarding bridge firewalls. It's a bug. I wrote a blog post on it as well, but I also wanted to provide a video demonstration of it as well as uh, a workaround. So before we jump into the NSXT interface, I wanted to pull up a diagram and just talk about the scenario that I'm, I'm running into. So as you can see here, we have a virtual machine 192.168.11.5 attached to a logical switch in NSXT. And then we created an edge profile, edge bridge profile to associate this logical switch with uh, to bridge it with VLAN 11. Uh, the physical workload we're trying to ping is 11.20. And the gateway for this VLAN is sitting on a physical router. As you can see here on the right, we got a block rule up top. Um, we're just doing a deny all. As you can see, traffic is still able to flow from this virtual machine to this physical workload. So let me demonstrate that for you right now. I'll pull up the interface here. So this is my NSXT environment. Let me pull up the transport nodes just so you know what we're working with. We have edge node three and edge node four, both utilizing uh, transport zone bridge one for the bridging in this demo. And I've already created the edge cluster, which is required and associated both edge nodes with that cluster. Now after you create the cluster, you got to go to edge, edge bridge profiles, and then you associate that edge cluster right here with, once you select the cluster, then you select your nodes that you want to be primary, backup, and then you select your failover node. So now that we have that created already, uh, I went ahead and already associated it with the logical switch in question, which is, um, this LSEN bridge VLAN 11. You can see I associated it here. So if we edit this, just so you can see it, we associated the edge bridge profile with the transport zone bridge one, typed in our specific VLAN, in this case, VLAN 11. So if I pull up the virtual machine, I should be able to ping the physical space, which I am. And if I go over to security and bridge firewall and this is duplicates and this is a bug in the GUI as well. Um, but if you just refresh, it should show a single one. Yeah. And then we click add rule and we're just going to call it deny all. And then we're going to do a drop and publish. Now you can see over here, I'm still able to ping. So let me stop it because you can't really tell. Let me stop it and then start it again. You can see, even though I have it to deny all, I'm still able to ping that physical workload. So this got me thinking and after a couple of days of troubleshooting, I decided to approach this from a different scenario. I decided to move the, the gateway into the NSXT domain. So let me show you a diagram on that. So in this situation here, um, we have a virtual machine 172.16.100.10 sitting on the NSX logical switch. We have the gateway associated in in the NSXT domain 172.16.100.1 associated with tier one tenant A. And then again, we're going to try to ping out to the physical server 172.16.100.200 over VLAN 100. And again, we use the same edge bridge profile to bridge the overlay with the VLAN. So let me just show you that in the NSXT user interface. So first we'll start with routing. We'll go to the tenant A. You can see that there is a gateway right here, uh, 172.16.100.1. It's associated with LS web tier logical switch. So if we go over to switching, select web tier. If we look at the ports real quick, you can see that we have our logical router interface connected. Um, we have our a web VM connected. And we also have the bridge endpoint connected. So if we go back over to related edge bridge profiles, you'll see that this edge bridge profile is associated with VLAN 100. And again, using the same transfer zone, TZ bridge one. So let me pull over that VM. VM is right here. And we'll go ahead and do a ping. And you can see I'm not able to ping. Let's investigate that. So if we go over to our bridge firewall rule, and go over to LS 
web. You can see I can't ping because there's a deny all enabled. So if I disable this rule and publish, you can see the rule is actually functioning. This bridge firewall is actually functioning. And if I enable it again, publish, you can see it stops. So it's denying traffic. While over here, I'm still able to ping even though my firewall rule is set to deny. So go back to that logical switch, VLAN 11. So after after discovering this, I decided to give VMware a call, um, see if they ran into heard of this issue and ran into it. And sure enough, they did. Um, they said this issue was going to be addressed in 2.4, um, and they provided a, a workaround. Um, essentially, what's going on in order for the bridge firewall to work, it needs to be associated with a distributed router. Um, it can be T0 or Tier 1. So let me pull up the diagram of the workaround. So the workaround in this particular case where the firewall rule wasn't working is to attach a uh, tier one or tier zero. In this case, I did a tier one uh, called test-t1. I signed some bogus gateway address, 1234 slash 24, and I, I attached it to the logical switch. So let's, let's step through that right now. So as you can see, I'm still pinging over here, so I'll let that continue to go. But we'll go over to routing. Oh, we'll select our T, T1 router here and add an interface, call it demo. Select a logical switch, VLAN 11, give it an IP address, one, two, three, four, slash 24. Click add. So now if we go over to our logical switching, switching. And we go to this logical switch, go to ports. We should now have the logical router interface attached to it right there, as well as the uh, win 2019. And then there's our bridge endpoint. So now let's go over to security, bridge firewall, our VLAN. Right now it's enabled. Let me go ahead and refresh this so we don't have double. All right, right now we have deny all, it's enabled, but we just added the logical interface. So what we need to do in order for it to go in effect, you can see we're able to ping still. We'll just disable it, publish, and then we'll re-enable it. And once we do that, we should see the ping stop. And we do, we get a timeout here. And then if we enable it, publish, We can see it's working. So again, to reiterate, if you're experiencing this issue, simply just add a tier tier one or tier zero uh, distributed router to that uh, logical switch, and then your, your bridge firewall will work. Thank you.